Winner 503 is a barrel-shaped watch which borrows uh, design looks from contemporary as well as vintage style watch faces. Um, it's a fairly decent watch but for some reason, which I can't quite put my finger on, um, it doesn't really click with me. So let's have a look at this thing. Good day to you all and welcome back to another BBW review. So today we have the winner 503 barrel shaped automatic watch. This I think is about the fourth or fifth winner watch that I have reviewed on this channel and um, this is probably the one I'm least happy with. Um, the reason why is I can't quite put my finger on it but um, for a classic designed barrel watch, the dimensions just seem to be a bit too big to make it actually classic looking and classic feeling on the wrist. So let's go over the specifications. You have a across from east to west 35 millimeters and the lug width, which is more important, is quite a sizable 52 millimeters across. But regardless, um, my sweet point is um, about 50 millimetres. But even at 52, it does fit quite snugly on the wrist. And as you can see, it does curve down quite nicely. So it does hug the wrist without being too big. And it doesn't overhang at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the other dimensions are, you have a 20 millimetre lug width where the bracelet joins the watch and a girth of 14 millimeters. So again, I think this is what makes it a bit too big to be a classic designed barrel watch. The case itself is chrome plated alloy, which I should mention, the whole watch with the bracelet, including packaging and shipping from Shenzhen in China is just $14. So not much to complain about there. The weight, it's quite a hefty beast, is 109 grams. And going back to the case, you have a nice grippy five millimeter crown. And onto the rest of the watch, the face in particular. As you can see, you have a nice patterned face there with these um, concentric circles starting from the center and going out. The, um, as I mentioned, it's a contemporary and a classic design. The numbers and the outlay of the numbers you've probably seen on many other different watches. But um, it does also evoke some kind of um, classic design also. So you have the, um, the numbers are actually printed around the outside. So within that, this, you have a central dial, as you can see, running around uh, with numbers in red from five in five minute increments to 60. Uh, below the 12, you have the winner logo, which is applied and the winner name just below that. Above the six, you have the word automatic, 100 meters and 30, sorry, 330 feet. So um, I'm not sure if how accurate that is, although it is a, the case itself is screw on, so that may be correct, 100 meters, but I wouldn't uh, test it myself. The other details on the dial, you have a very small, circular date window, which despite being small, is quite easy to read. Although I don't like date windows, but it doesn't detract from the symmetry of the watch too much because it is quite small. And the hands, the hands themselves, I'm not sure if you can see this, they are blue, not blued, not heat treated, but blue. And you have um, loom within those hands. The second hand is just a stick hand, but with a quite a nice red arrowhead pointing 
towards those seconds on the central dial. Below or in between the six, you have number 503, which is the watch designation, and 1932. Now I'm not sure what that refers to, but I'm guessing it may refer to some design features from a similar watch from that year, but again, couldn't find much online about this watch at all. The movement is quite smooth. It comes from a 21,600 BPH movement, or I'm guessing it's just a standard Shanghai movement. But again, not too many details about this watch online. So let's have a look at the back of this thing. So there we have the back. It is a stainless steel back cover. As you can see from the details around the outside, um, stainless steel mechanical, although it's an automatic, and A004. I think this watch has two designations, the 503 and the A004, although the A004 may refer to just the movement. So it's, it's quite a basic movement, as you'd expect from $14, with a bi-directional rotor, plain and unpatterned, and then you can see the uh, escape wheel buzzing away there. And it is a screw down cover, which they claim has a 100 meter water resistance. But again, I wouldn't bet my money on that. So let's have a look at the bracelet now. For your $14, you are going to get a stainless steel bracelet, which is quite thick. Um, push pin button adjustment uh, which uh, leads to a butterfly deployment clasp which are my favorite I never have a problem with these whether they've been too big or too small they generally fit me just fine although I know many people don't like these because of that because you don't get much adjustment where the links are all the same size you don't get small links uh, the links themselves are one piece links where you have one, two, three parts is, is one link. It's not actually one, two, three, four, five as it would look. It's just one link, but it works well. And for $14 again, uh, no complaints. Now I'd like to show you the other colorway, which is the black. Now, preference wise, I prefer the white one, only because I think it looks a lot clearer. The black one, as you can see that pattern, uh, reflects the light quite badly where with on the white one it just makes it look a lot much cleaner and nicer looking so there's the white one and the black uh, both the same price but I bought both hoping that the black one would be better I generally prefer black faces but uh, given the choice here I think the white one does it the white one being the winner there you go Um, so here we have it on the wrist. It doesn't look too bad from overhead, but it's when you get the profile. And one thing I should say is that, as I mentioned earlier, despite being 52 millimeters from lug to lug, you don't get any overhang even on, my wrist is actually six and a half inches, quite a slim wrist, but for such a large uh, lug to lug, you don't get any overhang and there are no discernible gaps under those lugs, but what does it for me is um, that uh, girth, the depth of the watch, 14 millimeters. It's just a bit too big, I think, to be called a classic looking barrel shaped watch. And that's really what um, doesn't sell it for me, although I do recommend it, but just not for me. Maybe for a bigger wrist. So there you have it. And there you have it, the hybrid styling of the Winner 503 automatic watch. Um, do I recommend this watch? Uh, I do, um, only when compared with the price and what you get for the price. But once it's on wrist, um, as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't really click with me, but that may just be me. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, it is a fairly decent watch. And for the price, there's not much 
uh, compromise and not much to complain about. So, once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again with another watch on the green chair. Until then, take it easy.